Hi friends, uh, today the digital signal processing, uh, basics of digital signal processing. Uh, first we will see that what is signal. So what do you mean by signal? Anything that carries the information. Anything that carries the information that may be called a signal, right? Or it may be defined function that conveys the information, that conveys the information, it may be called a signal, right? Otherwise, we can say that the physical quantity that varies with respect to time, space, or any independent variable or any variables, right? The physical quantity that varies with respect to time, space, or independent variable or variables. It may be called a signal, right? For example, I can say that the S1 of t equal to 5t. So this is one type of signal. The signal, it varies with respect to only one independent variable, t, right? The another one, I can say that S of x comma y equal to, S of x comma y equal to 3x, plus 2xy plus 10y square, okay? Here you can find that two variables are there, x and y, two variables are there, right? So this is a two independent variables, right? This is also one, one signal. The standard signal, we can say that x of t equal to a sine 2 pi f t plus theta, right? This is a standard signal where here a is the amplitude of the signal, F is the frequency of the signal, T is the time, and theta is the phase angle, right? So this is a standard signal. Then here, in signals, we have one-dimensional one signal and two-dimensional signal and two, uh, three-dimensional like that. So one-dimensional signal, if any signal varies with respect to only one independent variable, one independent variable, it may be called a one-dimensional signal, right? So here, the best example, I can say that uh, speech signal or ECG signal, EEG signal, these are the one-dimensional signals, right? The next one is two-dimensional signal. The best example, I can say that picture. Generally, the picture signal we used to represent in matrix, okay? So any pixel, if you want to point out, we have that uh, uh, number of rows and the columns. The matrix consists of n cross m. Any point, if you want to mention here, the rows and columns. Here we have the two coordinates, x and y. So the picture is, we can say that, two-dimensional signal, two-dimensional signal, right? And uh, we can see that uh, three-dimensional, four-dimensional, five-dimensional, like this. Um, nowadays, you can see that, uh, in YouTube, uh, nowadays you can able to hear uh, 8D signals. While hearing that signal, uh, eight dimensional signals you can get uh, around our head. Uh, it is rotating that signal. You can able to realize that using your uh, earphone, right? So that's all about dimension of the signal. Next, uh, classification of signals. First one is continuous signal. So what is continuous signal? Every instant of time, every instant of time. The continuous signal is defined that every instant of time, that is called a continuous signal. So it is varying with respect to time continuously. Any signal is continuously varying with respect to any one variable. For example, here I am saying that T is the continuous signal, right? This is the amplitude. The second one is called, we can say that discrete signal. Here, uh, this is the continuous T. This is the amplitude. This is X of T. X of T, we can able to represent 
that is a continuous signal right discrete signal we can able to represent x of n okay x of n we can able to represent x of n discrete signal what is the definition discrete in instant of time discrete instant of time discrete instant of time that may be called a discrete signal so example i can say that this is the n value this is the x of n right here this is the amplitude for this i am having one value on the here so we can say 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 this is having some value so this is a discrete signal where here n is the integer value the next one is a, a digital signal so what do you mean by digital signal what is the difference between discrete and digital so when you are getting the analog signal continuous signal first you have to do sampling right after doing sampling it will be becoming discrete signal discrete in the instant of time right discrete signal after that what you have to do quantization you have to do quantization after doing quantization so the signal you have to do round off it will become digital signal you have to set the limit whether it is uh, zeros or ones so digital means it will be zero or one only zeros or ones the machine can able to understand any machine can able to understand zero or one so that may, so that signals are called a digital signals first you have to do sampling right then discrete signal you have to convert a discrete then quantization then it will become digital signal fine next is signal processing what do you mean by signal processing so any changes any changes in the characteristics characteristics of the signal right that may be called a signal processing so what do you mean by characteristics characteristics may be amplitude right shape frequency or phase if any changes in this we can say that that is called a signal processing you are going to take input as a analog signal or continuous signal and you are going to get output in the analog you are doing only changes in the signal uh, characteristics then it may be called a analog signal processing right so analog signal processing we can say that in electronic circuits we may study that rc phase shift oscillator and uh, amplifier so so many example we can say that right these all are called uh, analog signal processing uh, next we are going to see that digital signal processing digital signal processing the first the input signal we are going to give right after that we have to do that sample so input is uh, analog signal continuous signal x of t after that we have to give anti aliasing filter anti aliasing filter okay next is sample and hold sample and hold right so here first what are the signal you are going to give when i am speaking here um, in top of my head fan is rotating so in my voice the fan sound also it is added here we need to suppress the noise then only we will get more clarity in that audio signal so for that we need to use our filter so that is a anti aliasing filter then sample and hold what you mean by sampling sampling is nothing but uh, um, in your area in the farmer after cultivating in the rice it is going to be uh, hand over to the committee that committee they are going to see the workers will be there they want to check the quality of that rice so they have one rod in their back side of their um, Uh, back side they will inject that uh, rod inside the uh, pack and they will have the sample in their hand that may be called a, a sampling right the sampling whenever you going to do that the sampling frequency that should be greater than or equal to 2 fm right so what the message signal compared to that uh, frequency uh, we need to select that more than that the sample frequency then only we can able to reconstruct the original signal right this is sample and hold after that we need to convert analog into digital analog into digital 
So after converting this, we need to give the DSP processor that is going to do some processing, digital signal processing. After converting this, we have to give uh, digital into analog. So digital to analog converter. We need to convert digital into analog. After that, again, if any noise.